going to talk about hydroelectric power today. And one of the most common ways to create hydroelectric power is with a dam. You start with a dam, you build your man-made lake. And the river that feeds into that lake, if it floods or if that lake gets too high because of rain, some of that water can be let out to turn a turbine. So the turbine is connected to a copper wire inside the generator here. So when the turbine turns, so does the copper wire. And then inside the generator here, you see the Legos that represent magnets that line the inside of the generator wall. So when the turbine spins, so does the copper wire. And then the magnetic field of the um, magnets push and pull electrons out from the copper wire into transmission lines to power your homes, businesses, and companies. So the history of man-made lakes in North Carolina, President Roosevelt created the TVA during the Great Depression, which is the Tennessee Valley Authority that helped create power for the rural South. So a lot of people had to relocate because of the creation of man-made lakes because their homes were going to be destroyed. But a lot of people were hesitant to relocate because, you know, during the Great Depression, the economy wasn't very stable. So where they were, they had already created a somewhat, somewhat of a stability with home life and jobs. So, so they were just scared of what was going to happen. A couple advantages of hydroelectric power over your more traditional coal or oil-fueled power plants. First is that it's a clean source of energy. Because you're not burning fossil fuels, you're not releasing the toxic emissions and the greenhouse gases. Second, because hydroelectric power can be created anywhere that you have the lake and the water cycle going on, if you have the land and the water, you can create power. You're not reliant on other places that might have the oil or the coal. And then lastly, hydroelectric power is a renewable source of energy. As long as you have the sun creating the water cycle, you're going to have this form of energy. Some disadvantages of hydroelectric power is that when you're building your dams and reservoirs, the migration patterns of fish are affected and they might not be able to get the resources and supplies they might need to survive and that can decrease their population. An anthropogenic disadvantage is when the dams and reservoirs are being built, humans might have to relocate and go somewhere else because of the um, building of these. There are 70 hydroelectric power plants in North Carolina, and it's the second largest renewable energy source. And the closest one to us is the Oxford Dam. We have a demonstration for you of our hydroelectric model. We have the water that represents maybe a flood going into our river that turns the turbine. 